Hey guys, Nintendo Caprice on here. Welcome back to Phoenix Ride, Ace Attorney, um, or Ace Attorney Apollo Justice, rather. There is no Phoenix Ride in the title of this game, but anyway. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> well, this is it. Um, oh, okay, let me start over. Um, the real Darian, I still think that somehow, I think what happened was that he maybe he was the one that wanted to buy the little thing, and so he had a stand-in substitute for him on the stage and that's why he messed up his guitar like at the concert meanwhile the real one was back there trying to buy the thing and then uh somehow oh, there's still too much though like the guitar exploding on fire i still think that was meant to distract gavin while he like maybe went back up to maybe to replace himself so gavin wouldn't notice what he was doing i don't know man Today's the day it all goes down. Get your hands and hit the F and deck. Why am I censoring myself? I never did it before. Yeah, and see, he doesn't want us to know what he was doing there, and he was about to tell us the other kid was. But he was probably the one that's trying to buy it because somebody he cares about or himself has this curitis or sequelitis or whatever it was called. I never like you, either of you. <laughs> yeah, well, doesn't mean Jack. Of course, we're gonna have to spend time together. Hey, Apollo. He didn't want us to hear what Maki had to say. And I think I know why. Time to bring down a little justice. Hell yeah. What? What? What was that? He is heard, but unseen. It's, uh, it's the guy, her uncle. Who's that talking? dun dun dun, -dun! Violent Grummar at your service! Using the door like an average muggle, no less. Muggle? Are you serious? You aren't a witness today, are you? Well, he was there! He would make a great witness. Oh? How can I stand to stand upon the stand? and listen to Stand by Blues Traveler like, like Harmony to why my secrets would be free for the plucking. I might even have to sign autographs. Oh, boo-hoo. That is why I intend to remain hidden for the entire day. Is he gonna, like, appear in the courtroom suddenly and be like, Hey, everybody! I got something you don't know! I will jump on an express train and express myself to the next town over. But before I go, a word of warning going on really a glamour a spell a sorcery a great illusion oh yeah miss trucy though it pains me to part so i need to get in line for a ticket ticket to what paradise once you get two while you're at it he sure seemed happy about that illusion thing. Well, big illusions are the bread and butter of a magician. You can't pull off a show without one. Or a Rubik's Cube. Or a girl in a swing. With a... I don't even know. Usually it involves... Blah, 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 or the Eiffel Tower. And, oh, God, the Eiffel Tower. You did not just say that. <laughs> you had to be there. Let me just disappearing act. And Prosecutor Gavin's exploding guitar. The toilet. The toilet. I wonder what he meant by it being at the root of all that has happened. Well, it's about bloody time. Shall we go? Uh, excuse me, sir. T yes? The scheduled starting time for the trial has been changed. The trial will not be commencing until 10.30. Sorry for the inconvenience. What? It was by the judge's request. Some urgent per- Oh, jeez. Probably his friend in the hospital. No. Nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Apparently his condition... Oh, man. Okay, so maybe the judge... Maybe the detective is trying to get the thing to help cure the judge's son. And then he had to kill the other guy to cover it up because otherwise he would have blown him wide open. And then they had to distract Gavin from- and then they couldn't tell Gavin about it because, well, 
It's because he knows Phoenix, and you know, I'm just talking to my ass at this point. Like, literally. I know I say that sometimes, but like just now, I really was talking out my ass with the whole Phoenix thing. That's right, remember yesterday morning? The judge said he had to go visit him after the trial, and he probably never got to because that trial went on for two damn years. Oh, what? What is this? Incuritis syndrome, first case in country. Uh, yeah. Wait, first, first time in the country? Good lord. Just leave the TV Guide page to me. <laughs> Just try not to lose the page with the funnies if you can. The funnies. Good lord, funny is not a noun. Neither is fly, for that matter. Or, uh, yeah. <laughs> My apologies for the delay. Court is now in session. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm sad about my friend. For the trial of... How do you say his name again? Maki Tobe, our suspect fortissimo. Right. This is trial in any case. The defense is prepared, Your Honor. Do you need a tissue? The prosecution is ready to rock. Is something wrong, Your Honor? No. Well, yeah. It's just... I've been friends with the Chief Justice since we were students! It pains me to see him going through such a difficult time. Incuritis, was it? That article said there is no known cure. Uh, <laughs> Herr Judge, let me just say with all honesty, I feel your pain. But now is not the time for tears. But uh, he really... wow. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Can I get my brother to do this? We left off the quite the juncture yesterday. I asked Interpol about that number, IPXX314206. The agent registered under this number is the victim. Thanks for looking into that force detective. It's a great help. I'm not sure why the color keeps flashing on the bottom screen like that. That's really weird. I'm not sure if that's going to show up in the video, but mm, I'll be heading out. Hopefully it's not too noticeable. I haven't really noticed it much when I've been editing, but, but I know it is there. And she showed up and fingered him, and was like, oh, great. Mm -hmm. No way! Yes way. Quite a sensational ending. Who would have thought Darian would get Tsar in the season cliffhanger as a suspect? I asked the prosecution to look into this matter. Please tell the court you were finding. <laughs> Darian Crescent is a member of my band, the Gaviners. He's also a detective making the current charges serious indeed. Yet after investigation, I found no cause to alter our case. Or file new charges. And your reason is... The freaking air vent. Yeah, he was on the stage, he's gonna say. The concert held on the night of the shooting was in three sets. And the shooting happened during the third one. Mm-hmm. For the second set, our guests took center stage. The only performers appearing were myself, Lemire, and Maki. It might have been that he was actually making the trade here. The shooting in the dressing room, however, took place during the third set. Oh, shoot, I'm, my brain's moving 100 miles a minute here. Okay, so they took the stage, the Gavinas were already rocking. And this is when two shots rang out at the scene of the crime. Shots heard by Detective Emma Sky. And Apollo, you heard them too. Yes, I did, but she doesn't think I exist. I'm still working on that. Lemire herself witnessed the moment of the crime. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Okay, alright. But that's impossible. Detective Crescent was. Precisely. Detective Crescent was on stage getting his groove on, no less. Voila, a perfect alibi. Hmm, does the defense have anything to add to this? It's true. When I heard those gunshots, he must have been on stage. Still, there's something here that doesn't quite add up. Okay, yeah, there are a couple things. Like, first off, well, maybe the magician stood in for him or something. I don't know. Because he was seen out by the dressing rooms, right? So he dressed as the other guy. He didn't say anything about knowing how to play guitar, though, is the thing. You have to be pretty good, to, you know, to you know to fill in for that. I don't know. I believe we can safely say that Darren Crescent's alibi has been acknowledged. Which means that Lemire was sadly mistaken. 
Her testimony cannot be true. Pretty well. Of course, if we disregard her testimony. <laughs> now, I see no evidence keeping us from declaring a verdict. If indeed there are no objections, please let there be no objections. But Prosecutor Gavin's case is airtight. Let me remind him it's lying. How can I rely on her testimony? Wait. What about yesterday in the detention center? About the case. What about the case? Oh, man. He was just about to tell us, too, and then... Yeah. Obstruction of truth, much? <laughs> Rocky was trying to tell us something. I know it. Maybe the best thing to do is ask him. Under oath! Very well. The court finds the defendant, or what's his name again? <laughs> Oops, he was supposed to be crying. Your Honor! No, that wasn't it. It was something like Marquis or Mr. Justice. Or... Your Honor, before you declare a verdict and blow your nose again, I would like to call another witness. Hmm. A witness who until now has not been given a chance to speak in this court. Because he doesn't speak English. Ah, you don't mean... Yes, I do. Bam, get him up here. But he doesn't speak English. He has an interpreter. We'll do this. <laughs> oh! Okay. The defense would like to request Lemire as the interpreter. But there's a possibility she's protecting the defendant. <laughs> but she'd be interpreting for the defendant. Why would she lie? This is most unusual. The <laughs> Bravo, hair forehead. Her judge, the prosecution agrees with the defense's request. If Lemire lies, I'll be able to tell. Even my limited knowledge of the language should be enough for that. Okay. Finally, some progress. Hell yeah. Why in the world was he on the... Why was the guitar on the dead body? So many questions! I suppose there was a first time... What? Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that was a voice crack or me just being crazy. Alright. Your name to begin with. If you would. If you dare. Yes. Oh. He says, Makitobe, the defendant. This is certainly a first for this courtroom. <laughs> Not that we really needed an interpretation of that message in particular. Uh, I'm gonna stop the crying thing now, because that's gonna, I'm not gonna remember to do it half the time. Hmm, if I would what, Your Honor? Would what? I stopped crying for you, and you called the defendant to the stand, and now you do this? What would you have him testify about? Oh, where do I even begin? This Oh, well, dude. Start from the beginning. And when you come to the end... <laughs> stop. Excuse me, a moment. If I might speak. Just now, Maki said there was something about which he wishes to testify. Ah. Let him do it. What sort of testicle is he talking about? One moment, please. Oh, the suspense is killing me. I hope it'll last. What? 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 I'll take those what's. Well, Lemire, just give her a second. He has proof of his innocence. Alright. Here we go, guys. Here we go. This is a surprise. Victory, Apollo! We did it! We didn't do shit! And I know what that usually means. Hmm. Well, if that's true, then this is vital testimony. Alright, here we go, guys. Very well. Proof of innocence. Bring it on, baby. He says that word of Mr. Latusa's death came as a great shock. But if the killing truly followed the lyrics of my song, I, that is, he could not have done it. He says that because the lyrics are in English. He does not understand them. Well... Okay. He wouldn't have understood the English lyrics. Well... I wondered what he meant by proof. To why. He would only have to ask Lemire to know the meaning of the song. You know, well, that's one thing. Did you ever explain the lyrics of that song to him? 
I did tell him generally what the song was about, but never in so much detail, and he never asked. Has my oft-repeated warning already fled that forehead? It, let me remind you protecting the witness. Well, anyway, let's proceed. Mr. Justice, if you dare. Yes, Your Honor. Mm-hmm. Alright, it worked yesterday, it'll work today. You bet your ass. Proof of innocence, let's go! Okay, he says that that was a great shock, okay. But if the killings really found the lyrics of my song, I, that is, he could not have done it. Um. He says that because the lyrics are in English, he does not understand them. I feel like this is it right here. There's something, I know there's something, but I can't. Whoa! Oh man, you can see his eyes, dude. Uh, dude, get that off my screen. I'm trying to do something here. Because the lyrics are in English. So we're just watching him, right? Not her? Oh, we gotta watch both of them. He does not understand them. Okay. He says that... Okay, there's nothing else. Let's just watch her mouth. I don't think this is gonna be it again, though. Because the lyrics are in English. He does not understand them. I guess it wouldn't make sense for him to do anything while she was talking, right? But maybe? Like, if someone else is telling a lie for you, do you still... He looked over. His eyes are moving. He does not understand that. Okay, I think I see it. Let us do that one more time. Hear it again. Play it again, Sam. I got this. Yeah, like I was saying before, like, I guess you would still cringe, sort of. Or do whatever it is that you're doing in, in a reaction to... Or in English. Besides, I'm, I kind of sort of think he understands English because of the way he was reacting to us in the detention center my bracelet was going off. You can't fool my eyes. You glanced toward her the merry moments when you said the word English. Why? Because you understand English, you dude. You do. You do or you dude. Oh, man. Maki, tell the truth. You can understand English, can't you? What are you saying? Of course he can't. Must he continue this charade? Mr. Justice, Maki says this. I know the word English. Oh... Before coming to this country, he heard me speaking English. He learned the name for his language, that is all. What? Give me a break! <laughs> is that such an unusual word to understand? Do you not know Espanol, for instance? Or Inglés? <laughs> well, yeah, but... I'm sorry, but he truly does not understand your language. Well, then explain this. How does he know the crime followed the lyrics? Maybe he doesn't. If he didn't do it, he wouldn't know. It is simple, so simple it hardly requires an explanation. He read about it in the newspaper. The newspaper? The Virginian Daily Bugle. You can buy it in this country these days, you know. They've already begun to report about this case in our homeland. I was right. Okay, I know, I know what's wrong with this already, because I saw it in the evidence. The newspaper that we have just specifically says that it didn't mention the lyrics. At least I think. Yeah. Okay, um, let me see. Let me see if I remember that right. Which newspaper? Article about the case, it doesn't mention the lyrics of Lemire's Ballad, so... Yeah. I remember when I saw that, I was thinking, that's gonna be important. And I had no idea how, but well, I guess we know now. 
Can you read this for me, Monkey? <laughs> That's right. It doesn't mention the lyrics. What is this all about? I'm sorry, Monkey. You couldn't have read about the lyrics in a Borginian newspaper. Uh oh, he's freaking out. Oh man. He's got those stomach pains, you know? So far, so good. What does this mean? What it means is that he understand either he understands English or he knew the lyrics and could have done it or well, I don't see how it's possible. Oh, I know. He must have heard the lyrics when the police were doing their questioning. Yes. Not possible. The subject of the lyrics was not brought up in police questioning. We don't sing songs in there, you know. We just smoke and ask questions. That's what we do. So the lyrics weren't in the newspaper, and the police didn't mention them. The only place you could have heard them was in this courtroom. You know, in this courtroom! In English, no less. Damn, son. The witness will explain herself. Er, himself. <laughs> Maki says... He says... Uh-oh. She's about to make something up. It is true I read the newspaper. But this is not where I learned the lyrics. I was mistaken. Now I remember. You remember. He says he heard the lyrics from me. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the look on my face right now. Oh. Yes, I'm afraid I had forgotten it myself. It seems so. This did seem kind of like like the answer would have been too easy. Of course he could have learned it from her. But she was saying just before that she didn't explain that much of it to him. Just the very basics. Not like the exact word for word. Ugh, I don't know. It's too late to go back and grab that statement from the past though and throw it in her face now. Time is an issue today, Mr. Justice. Are you finished? No! I don't care about your friend. I don't... I do care about your friend, but... But damn it, you know? Just damn it. Alright. My bracelet's still reacting. Oh. Oh. If you must, you must. Very well, witness. I understand. Here we go. Alright, alright, alright. It was I who follow who explained the crime that the crime followed the song. Okay, so that's the statement. Well, shoot. I wasn't sure. I, I didn't know if they were, like, starting a new set of things. I guess they wouldn't be, though. Okay, it was I who explained that the crime followed the song. Let's, uh, let's do this. I think it's gonna be her that's lying this time, though. She's doing it again with the mouth, like mumbling part of it, or swallowing, or whatever it is they said she did. It was I who explained. Okay, wait, let me, let's do that again. It was I who, it's right there. Gotcha. Shing! But then if it wasn't her that explained it to him, then who did? Does somebody else? Maybe it was the victim that explained it. Well, no, the victim's dead. How could he? He's not like he got up from the ghost and said, yeah, I got up from the ghost. Yeah. Why should you be uncertain? Mm-hmm. Me, uncertain? Yeah. You swallowed the very moment you told the court. It was I who explained. Maybe she had some spit in her mouth, man. You don't know. <laughs> I see there's a little point in trying to hide anything from you. Lemire, are you indeed protecting someone? That is not a question with a simple answer. To tell the truth, I do not believe it myself. Then allow me to answer for you. Oh, Lemire, you're protecting. Someone else did explain. Is she protecting the the victim then? I think she barely knew. I just swallowed just now, and I kind of felt conscious about it. <laughs> 
Why, why would there even be any need to protect him now that he's dead, though? But it seems too obvious to say the kid, right? Maybe she's trying to protect herself? But she was saying, I'm the one who taught it to him. How does that protect her? Because if it turns out she's really not the one, then she must be covering for somebody else by taking the blame for teaching him the song. He wouldn't have taught himself the song. So maybe it is. Well, let's try it. I'm afraid I don't understand what you're saying. Well... <laughs> So sad to go through life being so misunderstood. Mmm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What I need is another chance. Come on, this is easy. Who is she protecting? You know what? We better go ahead and save here. We better start now, because if we don't... Maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it again. Maybe it really is him. Lemire, you are protecting Maki. Okay, it, it is. That's why you lied and told us that you would explain how the crime followed the song. Oh, that's right! He, he figured it out for himself. Okay, duh. Because I said before, that's why I didn't pick him, is because he wouldn't have taught himself. Well, of course he could have taught himself. I don't fault you for trying to help, but this is not the way. Maki, I believe you didn't do it, really. I trust you. But you've lied to us twice now. And now you have Lemire lying on your behalf. If this is how it's going, if this is going to work, you're gonna to have to trust me too. Your two lies cover a simple. Tr your two lies cover. Oh, I was in the middle of my speech and I girled out in the middle of it. <laughs> you understand English? You have to. But that doesn't necessarily mean he can speak it. Oh. There is a difference. Like to understand a language and speak it, it's complicated, but. It's a lot harder to speak it than it is to understand it. Yes, a little lonely. Here we go! Thank you! Thank you! I got the clap. What's up, bitches? First he can see, now he can talk. And you know what? Next time he's gonna know how to juggle. How'd you not know about this, Lemire? She knew. It's quite a surprise. How many secrets is this witness hiding? <laughs> last this is. Last. Maki, can you tell us what really happened? No shooting. I did no shooting. So you weren't in the dressing room when I heard the two gunshots, correct? Oh. <laughs> Maybe he was sort of there? I was in dressing room behind desk manager. He on floor. Uh, I know can't eat until it weaker, which would be after the shooting, right? Then there's voice. Um, so when Maki went into the dressing room, he'd already been shot. Oh, okay. And then we came to the door. Panel high up, I take off, run away, run away. Okay, yeah, his fingerprints were on it, so, yeah. Hmm. As the prosecution has held all along, no less. The defendant has admitted to being at the scene. Might we take this as a confession? Nope. No, he's clearly denied that he did it. I know shooting manager on floor, already on floor. The victim had already been shot, you say? I find that hard to believe. Well, then show me some evidence, Gavin. <laughs> the defendant understood the song lyrics. He was at the scene of the crime. This can only mean one thing. He is the shooter. <laughs> uh, why am I laughing? I don't know. Does the defendant have anything to say to this? He's only got so many words, man. He's clammed up Apollo. Then let's ask Mr. Justice. Will you require any further testimony? Yeah, I know. There's tons of things. We, are we going to the cocoon now? The cocoon, the silk, is a potent cure. The thing is, though, how is he connected? Well, I mean, if he was, like, the dealer, 
and he was the one selling it, you know. Hmm. Okay, how about this? Maybe he sold it to the detective, and then the guy, the victim, saw him and realized he had the cocoon outside of the country and tried to kill him for it because they said, if you take it out of the country, the penalty is death. But then the detective was like, well, no, you can't kill a child, so I'm going to kill you. He d Like, the detective killed him to protect the kid. That's the theory I'm working with at this point here. That still doesn't explain anything about what, like, the guitar pyrotechnics or any of that. That cocoon has to have something to do with this. Maki, please tell us the truth for your own sake. He can't, because, like, he knows they're gonna kill him. So much for your precious trust, hair forehead. Hey, you were the one who didn't believe him. <laughs> Regardless, this brings us to an impasse. It does seem that the defense and defendant are at odds. I doubt we are likely to learn anything more of value should this continue. I see no other course but to declare a five-minute recess. The defense will work things out so you can compose yourself, and then we'll get on with this case. <laughs> 11 Mm-hmm. It's a nice time. Apollo Eustace. Oh, this is... That's justice. Better learn how to say it if you ever want to get some. <laughs> believe I know shooting hmm maybe it was a trap and he walked right into it suddenly I hear a revolver close very close then I hear a voice you heard gunshots yes it's true I hear revolver but only sound Wait. What? Wait a minute. You escaped through the air vent. What in the world? Okay. So then the person firing the gun was only trying to make it look like he was shot? How else would they have killed him? There was no other weapon. Unless we're going back to the thing where he killed himself, but I don't see why that would be a thing. I, mean, we don't... I know if I open vent, I can leave stage and back. Backstage. So the vents went to both the stage and the backstage area. Okay. Is that what he means? I think so. Hey, he's right. Look, Apollo. Huh? Yeah. Sure enough. But how'd you know it was connected like that? A... Wait, I bet his father was the architect that designed the hall or something. No, you just had to guess, really. I hear this from Magician. Ooh. That's how he did the disappearing act then, isn't it? No, 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 he heard it from... What's his nuts? So, yeah, so, so did, he, did he not see the person doing the shooting? I mean, he's not blind, right? Hmm. Apollo, you're his defense. You're supposed to believe whatever he says, even lies. That's what Daddy always told me. I'll just pretend you misheard him. Every time. <laughs> so what do we do? You're sure you won't testify, Maki. I no talking, no. He can't talk. I mean, wait, I understand why he can't. That cocoon. Can't go on. Can't go on. <laughs> I can't go home to Virginia. I do not want to go home. Mm-hmm, exactly. Or 
plan is to put him in witness protection or something. If Maki won't testify about it, we'll have to get someone else to. Someone else. Let's get back in there. We're gonna need that guy to make an appearance here pretty soon. <laughs> but I get a feeling we're probably gonna have to talk to the um shoot the detective first. We'll see what happens here. Have you sorted things out? Yes, Your Honor, we have. And, uh, it's not good, let me tell you. <laughs> Your Honor, the defendant will not testify. Ah. Shame. And here I thought his was your big chance to turn the case around. <laughs> Actually, it is. The defense would like to approach this case from a different angle, Your Honor. A different angle? How obtuse of you. Hmm, well, okay. I thought we determined yesterday that her testimony was insubstantial. There's nothing you can... Mm. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. She was assaulted, Your Honor, with peanuts. Someone wanted Lemire dead. Thankfully, she was able to save herself. Ooh. You haven't, because I didn't tell you. Why would anyone be out to kill her? Can you think of a reason? <laughs> well, maybe she, you know, cheated on him. So think of how she is known in our country. A singer from overseas who doesn't speak English, yes? Yeah, someone tried to keep her mouth shut. Who could that have been? You don't think. Okay, um... Uh -huh. I do. It was the same person who shot Mr. Latouse. The killer was afraid of her, afraid of what she might say. The defense believes that something was hidden in her testimony yesterday. Something that the killer doesn't want getting out. Ooh, baby. So am I to understand that this is what you are saying. Namely, that there is a nugget of truth in Lemire's testimony. A nugget we have yet to uncover. Exactly. If Lemire was attacked, this has serious implications. No, it does. There were some vague points in her testimony during yesterday's trial. Perhaps we did not inquire as deeply as we might have into some. The court will hear her testimony once more. Shut up, bud. Not today. This is the final court. We just can't be farting. Man, you need not apologize. I know that Maki is innocent. And I will do all that I can until the court realizes this. Alright, let's do it. He told us you heard two gunshots and the shooter's voice through the window. And that the voice belonged to Darian Crescent, yes. That is correct. At which point I proved she could not be correct. She couldn't have heard any of those things because... Balls. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, let's just start over here. Maybe she was in the vent, not outside the window. You probably could have heard the voices in the vent. I mean, if we're going to say that the vent is how the magician did his thing, then... I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. That's when I heard them. Mr. Latouse and the detective. I heard the faint sound of a gunshot and stopped. Then I heard another gunshot. There was the smell of gunpowder. I knew I must tell someone, but I was in a hurry, so I kept moving past the small window. Okay, if the window was shut, how could you smell gunpowder? Um. Oh, boy. He's just going right after it, isn't he? Do I have to repeat myself? Lemire was attacked because of this testimony. Okay, yeah, true. <laughs> oh, he's so true, too. So true. 
Perhaps you can coolly cross-examine the witness. Yeah, well... Alright then. Here we go. Alright, you're on your way from the stage to the backstage exit. I actually want to make sure about this. Do you know... I mean, I think if she was crawling through the vent, she would know the difference. Just because she's blind doesn't mean she doesn't know the difference between standing up and lying down. I raised an objection. But she's saying the same thing she said before. Sorry, it's nothing. Please continue with your testimony. <laughs> uh, red and white, say hello. Alright. Okay, there was the smell of gunpowder. I knew I must tell someone, but... I was in a hurry. Okay, why were you in a hurry? Because you didn't want people to notice the other you? Or, like, <laughs> maybe she was in a hurry to get back there so, like, the audience wouldn't see her and realize she was a double or something. Because that's the only way I can think that, the, that like, they did the thing with her teleporting. But anyway, let me just see what we got here. Well, there was nobody around, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It is as you say, yet at the same time. Hmm. I was in a hurry. Okay, why? Well, can you tell us why you were in a hurry? Because that might help. Well, no, I don't either, but we need to find out because it probably does have something to do with it. Are you alright, Lemire? Yes, I'm just tired. Recall what I told you yesterday, hair forehead. Lemire suffers from serious amnesia. Please refrain from traumatizing her any further. Ugh. Why don't you prove her reason had a connection to the case before asking about it? Okay. Alright, the current question is moot, Mr. Justice. Uh, please, oh. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Or maybe we have to fill in the blanks, like, with a piece of evidence. Alright, let me look over this now. Oh, these yawns, I tell you what. Okay. So is it possible that when the person knocked her out, you know, and she had to run away to the stage, maybe what they were really trying to cover up was the, like, the magic act. Like, maybe she's giving it away somewhere in here. Because I feel like that is sort of... Hmm. Or it could be this, like, I mean, she's saying it right here that it's the detective. So it would make sense for the detective to want to attack her to cover that up. But, uh... Yeah, I know, but, um... Oh, here we go. What were they talking about? Did you hear anything else? Did you hear anything else? Anything else? Anything else besides the victim and the shooter's conversation? Anything at all? No, that's not a vague question. That's... Uh, other than the conversation, I heard a clock ticking, the two men breathing, footsteps. That is all. There is no way you heard that. No, that's enough. We got this. I think. As you wish. You heard the faint sound of a gunshot and stopped, then you heard another gunshot. Okay, but we don't have, like, the speakers. Is this the one we haven't pressed yet? Yeah, it is. Okay. 
Well, let me do that then. Otherwise, I'll go back and press that second one again and try a different statement there, but... Uh, yes, you heard two, one after the other. It fits with the bullet holes, yeah. Nothing really new here to pick up. Okay, actually, let's go back for a second. See if we can get her to tell us what they were talking about. Alright, what were they talking about? Let's hear it. Do you by any chance remember what they were saying to each other? If so, please tell us! Yes! I've given it much reflection, but... I was afraid of this. She doesn't remember. I only heard one phrase, clearly. Okay! A whole phrase? We have hit the jackpot, y'all. You remember something that was said? Why didn't you say anything yesterday? Though my memory is clear, I was afraid to speak. You see, I do not understand what was said. Oh man, this really could. It was the other man speaking, not Mr. Latouse, and what did he say? He said, I'll buy that for 1500 Fine China. <laughs> it's over. Press the switch now. 